In this tutorial, I wanted to show you the brand new rounded corners that are available inside of InDesign CS5. It's now that much easier to do rounded corners than it's ever been before. So I've got this image open here, and this has obviously got square corners, and I'd like to make these a bit rounded. So I'm going to click on it to select the entire frame using the regular selection tool. And then I'm going to click on this little jello box that's up here, which says click to edit corners. Let me zoom in here for you. If I click on this, I'll get the four diamonds on each side here of the image. And if I click on one of these diamonds and drag inwards here, you'll see that we're rounding the corners off. And we're doing it visually, which is the big improvement here. And I can continue dragging this and you'll see the size which we're rounding the corners off. If I prefer, I can have another shape here. So if I go back now in and select the corners, I can hold down my Option key on the Mac or Alt key on the PC. And if I click on this diamond instead, it changes the shape. And I can then vary the width of this shape. I can go ahead. We have a couple of different shapes that we can select between here. From square to round, uh, to a couple of different effects here. And if I go uh, and select the previewing here, you can see that this does look quite nice. If I go back in, I can also, uh, if I go and make, uh, sorry about opening that, you'll need to be careful so that you don't click um, on the image itself. So you want to click uh, really on this, this dot or this diamond. All right, so when they're round, there's, I can also change one corner individually. And to do that, I hold down the shift key instead before I click, and then I can move and modify just one single corner. So I can create effects like, like this one, where I have two corners be straight and the other ones be rounded. And this can look really nice. Furthermore, what's good about this is that it can apl be applied as an object style. Now, object styles are nothing new. And if I bring up my object styles panel, I can create a new style. And you see under there's uh, stroke and corner options here. And you'll see that the corner size and shape, and you can see the different ones here. You can see that we have 36 millimeters on the um, top left and bottom right corner, and the other ones are set to zero. So what I can do is I save this as a rounded, uh, well, let's, let's say two rounded corners. And if I go in and place, and I place in a couple of more, let's place three more, and let's utilize the multi-place by just dragging out a box, holding my shift key, and then make, by using my right arrow key, I'm going to make space for the three here. I'm going to target all of them, and I'm going to select my two rounded corners. And I need to be, make sure that I'm selecting the the object here because what is as you can see here what it's doing is rounding off the frame so you'll need to remember that this is only rounding off the different frames here so let's select all make sure there are such and none now and and so because you're doing this to the the frame itself so if i select and make the different one here rounded corners you'll see and if i fill them up using my fitting commands to fill the frame proportionally here you'll see that i did actually make rounded corners of the frame. You'll need to make sure uh, or be aware of the fact that it does it on the frame and not the specific image that you've placed inside of the frame. So that's the rounded corners inside of InDesign CS5. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye bye.